ES 2's Jasmine Veal continues our team coverage. She is live in Bel Air where the winds caused some big problems overnight. Jasmine? Mm. Rick and Sharon, and some of those problems, of course, more serious than others. I mean, look at the property behind me. This is what the winds did. It started a fire here when some tree branches fell into some power lines. It just burned the burn the car, you can see, and also uh, shattered windows, burn the side of the home, and really just shows the strength and the damage these winds can do. It's just a nightmare. Hollywood screenwriter Charles Shire's Bel Air home on Glenroy Avenue looks like it was hit by a small tornado. A large eucalyptus came crashing down last night. Branches were strewn across his driveway, and large limbs crushed his fence and landed on his car, taking other trees with it. And then like a big boom. <sighs> Disaster. I can't get out. I can't get him to school. I don't know. Not good. For 25 years, this shallow rooted eucalyptus had towered across Glenroy, but no longer. Then I just heard this huge, loud, like crackling noise and then a boom. Now there's cleanup here and all over Southern California. Trees are no match for the gusty winds, especially trees affected by the drought. This is a little bit crazy. They're blowing. Stuff is flying all over the place. On Beverly Glen Boulevard, a fallen eucalyptus around 1 a.m. caused a transformer to blow, sparking this fire that torched a car and fence. I looked out the window and I saw flames. It was like really going fast already. Another tree fell in a van in the Hollywood Hills at Mountain Avenue and Stanley Hills Drive this morning. The relentless winds kept LA's Department of Water and Power busy restoring electricity to more than 36,000 customers. Southern California Edison says its outage peaked at 8,200 customers yesterday afternoon. No, I haven't seen anything like it before. <laughs> And now no serious injuries have been reported from all of this damage. You still have, though, hundreds of people without power. Rick, Sharon. All right, Jazz, thank you.